In this video, I'm going to show you the updated way to add end screens or end cards to your YouTube videos. Hi there, David Walsh here once again from davidwalshonline.com, your place to connect and grow with video. Now, YouTube have made some major updates on the platform of late. They've brought out new YouTube Studio, which has replaced the YouTube Studio Classic and cut it off for most people. They've also updated how you add end cards or end screens to your YouTube videos. So we're gonna head on over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to add them. So there are two ways to add end screens or end cards to your video. The first way is where we are here, where we're uploading a video to our channel. So we can see the video is uploading here and if I click on next after I've put in any information in here, we go to video elements. And it says here you can complete this step after the standard definition version of your video has been processed. So that means the video has to be uploaded and has to have it on the server before you can add the end screen here. So you can go back, you can add in your description, your tags, your thumbnail. You can even go to visibility and schedule your video, whatever you need to do around adding your video elements, adding your end screen or your end card. So now we see that the video has been uploaded, but hasn't been processed. So we're still waiting on our video to be processed, at least in standard definition. So depending on the size of your video, this will determine how long this will take. So we can see we're 99% processed and now we are finished. So as soon as that finishes, then these become available. So once you have this here, the add link, click on that. So to make life a bit easier for you, YouTube gives you some templates. So I'll give you one video, one subscribe, one playlist, one subscribe, etc., etc. If you have end cards used on previous videos, then you can use the import from latest video option, which is this one here for me. So if you're starting from scratch, go up to the top left, click on add element. So you can add a video, a playlist, a subscribe link, a channel link, which is a link to another channel. And if you have external annotations added, you can then link directly from your video to your website. So you have to have a minimum of one video on your end card. Even if you want to use a subscribe or link to another channel, you still have to have a link to a video or a playlist. So if I click on that, then I'm going to pop that over there. So this is a video link. So I can have most recent upload, best for viewer, or I can choose a specific video. So with most recent upload, this will be the last video that I've uploaded. Best for viewer is where YouTube will select a video from your channel that best suits the viewer. Or if I wanna choose a specific video, then I can choose any of my videos there. And I can have multiple of these. So if I choose a most recent upload, I can select that one there. And then if I want to add a subscribe link, which is always good, I can do so and pop that down there. And I can see what that looks like by clicking play. Just click the link here or in the description below. I look forward to seeing you in there and on. So we can see what that looks like, which is good. Now I can move these around. So say if I wanted the subscribe link and these are available for 20 seconds at the end of your video. So if I wanted to have my subscribe link for the full 20 seconds and I wanted to reduce my video, I can do that very easily. Just click on there and then rub that down. So it has to be on for at least five seconds. And of course I can move that around, but if I want my videos to be on on the last five seconds, I can do that there move my playhead a little bit then click on play to get access to the YouTube jumpstart just click the link here there is my subscribe link there and if I scroll down here then my videos pop up here now this graphic is set up for a link to my website and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute but you can see you can move these around so I could have the videos at the start and then just disappear after five seconds, whichever you want on there. And then once you have set up your end card, how you want it, say I want it like that, then click on save and it is all done. So if you have a video that you already have an end card on it, or you haven't got the end card and you wanna add it, go to the video in your video list. You can click on the pencil there to edit it. 
And on the right hand side, you will see, if you scroll down, you will see end screen. So this is the video where I have a link to my website. So again, you want to have external annotations set up on your channel. Link to the video for that is in the description below. So you can see that here. So if I add another element and click on link. Now, if you have merchandise as well, you can add that too. Now, I, because I have this link already set up, I can only have one on my video. So that's already set up. So if I delete that, and you can easily delete by clicking the delete element, click on add element, click on link, click on add accept. So your links must comply with their policy. So I'm gonna send it to my website. So I put in my website, it thinks about to make sure that it is an approved website, and it is, so click on apply. So I have a custom message here. So it's taken the title from my video for my custom message. So I can pop in any message I want here. So you can see I have up to 60 characters that I can pop in there. Then I have a call to action. So I want my call to action to be sign up or visit download. So I can choose any of them. So whichever one is appropriate for you. So if you have merchandise, you'll click on shop. And here I can then add an image. So I click on select file. And so I can select any file that I want. It needs to be a square image. So I'm gonna pick that one. And as you can see, it must be 300 by 300 pixels. So this one is 500, then click on apply. And I want that to pop over here. So I can see what that looks like now. Just click the link here right now or click so that works there so let's have a look what it looks like when I come down here so you can see that links perfectly right there and I have added a subscribe link up here and I've taken that off so we can see what that looks like so the subscribe link disappears and my best for viewer video pops up so as you can see, you can play around with this. And again, as I said before, you do need to have one video minimum on your videos, even if you are using a external annotation link or merchandise or anything like that, you need to have one video on there. How are you going to add end screens on your videos? Let me know in the comments area below. I'd love to know what you're using them for. And as always, if you've got a question about this or anything else to do with YouTube, pop that in the comments area as well. And if this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We upload videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. Also as well, make sure to watch one of these fine specimens of videos here to help you grow your YouTube channel.